what's happening guys? So today I will be quickly unpackaging and reviewing Lenovo Legion Pro 7 Series Gaming Laptop. Uh, this beauty comes with a Core i9 13th generation processor. It has a 16 inch WQXGA LCD screen. It has a 32 gigabyte of uh, DDR5 memory RAM, one terabyte of SSD, and uh, this particular laptop has a RTX 4080 NVIDIA graphics card. However, it, there is an option uh, uh, to choose from, so you can go either 4080 or 4090. Uh, another thing I wanted to mention that uh, for from few sources that I was pulling some information, I've noticed that this laptop can only go up to 32 gig of memory RAM and up to two terabytes of SSD drive. So as usual, once uh, we're gonna be uh, done uh, looking at the laptop, I, all, um, I would like to remove the bottom case and to see what's cooking inside and just to see whether uh, everything is built into the motherboard or we actually can upgrade certain parts. So uh, stay tuned, subscribe, let's go. And now, I'm gonna be actually opening up the laptop. So again, we have some instruction manuals here. Oh, just an extra paper for you to have. So we have uh, here, it is a uh, It's, I mean, man, you can throw that thing to somebody and kill it. It's a 130 watt square tape Lenovo power adapter with a heavy duty extension cord here. So, and here's the actual laptop. Let's move all of it aside here and unpack this guy here. I mean, it feels fairly heavy, but I mean, it's a gaming laptop. So, uh, apparently the, the laptop is about uh, uh, three uh, three and a quarter kilograms, so about uh, six uh, six point one seven pounds. So pretty uh, pretty standard design for uh, Lenovo Legion series. Um, I'm actually gonna talk a little bit more about uh, external ports as I usually do. And here, let's open it up and just to see what the deal is here. Uh, okay, so again, very nice uh, 16 inch uh, screen with a pretty decent resolution. Uh, in terms of the keyboard, there's nothing really uh, uh, changed uh, from the previous versions. Uh, fairly wide, but I would say probably small touchpad for the gaming laptop, even though most of the gamers, uh, they don't really use a touchpad, but I mean, it's always good to have a larger larger uh, uh, touchpad, as far as I can see. Uh, the webcam does not have a, a privacy shutter, so I guess you can use your old style uh, Band-Aid or some type of a tape to cover in order to protect your privacy. And uh, let's take the laptop apart and to see what's going on inside. Let's go. This laptop has all necessary external ports. It has a four USB 3.2 Gen 1 uh, Ethernet port, USB-C, Thunderbolt, fourth generation HDMI audio port and there was a uh, one switch with a little camera there which I couldn't figure out uh, so if uh, any of you guys know what is that switch for uh, please uh, mention that in the comments and now I'm as usual I'm gonna be starting from the bottom side of the laptop and carefully remove all necessary screws uh, I didn't see any hidden screws everything was pretty straightforward but uh, it was a little bit complicated uh, removing the actual bottom case so as you can see here I'm uh, grabbing one corner and slightly applying a pressure to the palm rest just to make us a, a little gap and once I uh, by using my pry tool I um, pull the bottom case and I start using my fingers and just try to 
separate the bottom case from the palm rest. Uh, one thing I want to mention here towards the center, uh, there, that's where you actually will need to apply a little bit more pressure actually on both sides uh, just to safely remove the bottom case out. Uh, and here is uh, the second uh, side which I'm applying a pressure and now the bottom case is removed. And here is uh, all the internals, pretty cool looking. Uh, as you can see, really solid heat sink and there is a uh, two cooling fans. Also on the top right corner, there is a security sticker from Lenovo. So be careful if your laptop is under warranty, don't remove it. Otherwise, if anything fails, uh, you might be in trouble and they might deny any repairs for you. However, for as um, here, uh, there is a pretty decent battery. Uh, I Based on my research, there are offering two options uh, for the battery. Uh, I, I believe this one is a is a standard. There is a, another one which is higher capacity. Uh, here are two memory RAM slots for uh, for the motherboard, and actually um, both uh, there is a 32 gig total. However, I did find that there are 32 gig. Uh, RAM available, so you can go up to 64, but the manufacturers claiming there's only can be up to 32. So if anyone tried 64, please share with everybody. So now I will be removing the uh, the caddy for uh, the first SSD. Here's the one terabyte SSD drive. The Wi-Fi card, as you can see, is removable, which is a great thing. So if in case it's failed, it's very easy fix. And here is a second KD4 uh, secondary drive, which you can actually uh, install uh, on some uh, versions. It's, it already comes pre-manufactured. Uh, pre uh, in this case, it, uh, it's not available, but you always can upgrade. Here is the CMOS battery. And as you can see, pretty much all the external parts are on the motherboard, except one on the right hand side. So I think that would be it for uh, this motherboard. Peace and much love to everybody. We'll see you next video.